us is an example of what it looks like um, when a city like New Orleans uh, begins to live with water uh, than living against it. And I know that uh, with our water management plan, you guys are a critical piece uh, of this, and I want to thank you and HUD and all of the other federal agencies for working with us uh, to really kind of model this project for the city of New Orleans and for uh, the people, uh, obviously, of the country. Now, anything that we do here, uh, Madam Administrator, is a result of great partnerships. Um, every successful thing that has happened in the city of New Orleans in the last four years has been federal, state, local, not-for-profit, private, faith-based, and community-oriented. That is the model. That is the New Orleans way. Uh, and we believe that's the American way. So on behalf of the people of, uh, of the city of New Orleans, I want to thank you for being here with us and partnering on this one. And you'll see this model being used in Fillmore, Gentilly Woods, Holly Grove, uh, Lower Nine, and Algiers. And because I'm a really smart politician, I, I cut my speech by about 20 minutes. <laughs> 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 We're going to get out of here sooner rather than later. So with that, help me welcome uh, our EPA Administrator, Ms. Gina McCarthy. Thank you, man. <laughs> Uh, it's great to be here today, and, and I'll do the same. I'll follow you. Later. Wherever you go, I am there. Uh, I want to thank you for your tremendous leadership. This water retention pond may seem like a small project, but really it's a symbol of, a, it's a symbol of tremendous leadership here, Mayor, that you have provided, as well as the Development Authority. It's a symbol in a couple of different ways. One is that they're really making way and making space for water. We have all learned that water is a, a, a resource to be reckoned with. It is a precious resource that we don't want too much or too little of. And what we're learning is new ways of doing business. We're learning that, that the resiliency that you're bringing to the table is really making more livable communities and at the same time managing our water resources. Now this is not just a way of preventing storm water and runoff. It's also going to end up in safer drinking water. So this is all about how you, how you serve your city um, and how you serve the various needs that they have. And I'm really excited that EPA can partner with the city in these. And I'm excited to introduce Ron Curry, who's our regional administrator here, because he's doing a great job bringing all these communities together. We're really pleased. We even have an EPA employee in the mayor's office. If you don't think we're contributing, we are contributing. People, money, uh -huh. anything. We can do. Don't make me laugh, Ellen. Now we know that all the work we're doing means that we're going to be trying to make our communities safer and safer. But we have challenges ahead. The climate has changed, and it continues to change. So what the president's message is, is that we need to work with communities. Every community needs to start thinking about the challenge of climate change, how to be resilient, how to use green infrastructure like this as they're rebuilding their cities, updating their water infrastructure, preserving their safe drinking water. And we know we need to go and be partners in that effort. So today is a great opportunity for us to showcase a small project that really means a lot. Um, it means we're beginning to tackle one of the greatest public health challenges of our time, which is the challenge of climate change. So while EPA will be out in front looking at opportunities to reduce greenhouse gases, we're also going to make sure that our communities stay as safe and healthy as they can be. And I see a gentleman blowing on his hand because I have brought the cold weather with me and I'm shutting up and escaping. <laughs> Susan and then Jeff. Uh, good, good morning, good evening, everyone. Um, you know, when I went to the Netherlands right after uh, Katrina, and uh, this part of the city was still underwater, the one thing that really was had an impact on me was that they kept saying, you have to learn to live with the water. You have to learn to make the water a part of your city and not fight being where you are and where you're located. This is such a super occasion for us because this is one of the lessons learned. We came back and we knew we had to incorporate the water into our neighborhoods and not run away from it. And I want to thank all of the neighborhood um, people that are here today. You can't see Faye because she's under that ski coat. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> wish I was there with her. 
<laughs> but what I will tell you is that they have been lockstep in this process. The community has been lockstep in understanding that we have to do things differently and we have to be innovative. And Mr. Mayor, you're so right. We are a resilient people. We are a resilient city. But the thing that I think the rest of the country will learn from us is that we are also an innovative city. Yes, ma'am. And we are going to put into this city not only bike paths and some of the other things we've done, but we're going to learn how to live with water. And my next big project for the mayor and I is going to be that all the kids in New Orleans are going to learn how to swim. <laughs> Guys, I'm just here, you know, I'm one of these people who knows about this much about stormwater management, but I'm learning it from all of you guys, and so I'm just here really to thank you all for pushing on us, for teaching us what we need to know so that we can learn to make this city better and survive longer. And so for all oh, Wagner and Ball and the Horizon Initiative folks and... Um, uh, there are so many of you that have come and helped me to understand this, and I just want to say thank you and keep pushing on us, Dana Brown. Uh, keep pushing on us and keep helping us with Conrad Park. Thank you very much. And I hear this is coming to Holly Grove, and I'm really looking it forward is. to it. Mm -hmm. uh, thank Jeff you. Hebert, thank you very much. I'll be really brief because I'm the last one holding us before we get warm. Um, I think it's perfect because today it's actually raining, so we can actually see it. Uh, and, and it's I think working. it's a good thing. <laughs> um, I'm going to be very brief because you have actually a handout that has all the information, but I do want to just thank a, a few people who put this together. Um, from our team at Nora, uh, David Lessinger, Jason Neville, Jerry Graves, Colleen McHugh, Lemuel Hancock, David Joseph, Ben Blanc, and Kyle Glick Gilmore. Um, from the Mayor's Office, Deputy Mayor Cedric Grant, who can't be with us uh, today, and Charles Allen. Um, our wonderful visionary landscape architect, Dana Brown, who designed this and other things. Um, our contractor, Professional Grounds Maintenance uh, and CNC Construction. I know they were here earlier. They've done an excellent job uh, here. All right. All right. <laughs> and the others around the city. Um, and uh, the neighborhood, because this was created with the neighborhood, this was a design that was created with the neighborhood, and the way these are going to work in the future is only with the participation of the neighborhood and trying to figure out how we're going to work better uh, and do more of these around the city. So we'll be kicking off a um, bunch of these around the city, uh, but this is the first one, and we look forward to working with our partners to keeping it going. Thanks a lot. Thank you. I would be remiss if I did not tell you that, that Senator Landry has been a warrior yes. uh, on, on this issue of learning how to live with the water. She has taken many delegations to the Netherlands to help us understand the great tragedy that they experienced in 1954, I believe, um, that was very similar to what we you know, suffered during Katrina. And we learned from them, uh, and we hope to teach the rest of the nation what it really looks like. So levees are high, and they keep water out. Retention ponds are low and they invite water in. Uh, and it's two ways of doing it that are going to help us be a resilient city. So thank you all for being here. And again, uh, Administrator, thank you so much. We look forward to having a great relationship with you. Thank all of you for all the work that you've done. We appreciate it.